Hi, and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Dave. I'm here with Jay from IBM. Now, we've all heard of IBM, but you work in kind of a, a special part of it, right? Right. I work for IBM Spectrum Protect, and I'm the lead cloud developer. Our product has recently introduced uh, support for Amazon S3 as part of our uh, storage solution here, and uh, I'd like to explain it to you. Okay, cool. So it starts at the clients, right? Always start at the clients? On our client side, we begin kind of a data reduction techniques uh, throughout this process so we can save space on the back end. Customers are kind of concerned about how much data we save off. So that client side begins with an incremental forever technology where, oh, we, cool. where we only back up the change pieces of data. So for like example, a hypervisor um, that's backing up a virtual machine um, will only send the change blocks, blocks that change during the process um, into IBM Spectrum Protect. And then you do some uh, deduplication magic, right? Right, and before we get that, we get to policy management. We, the policy management determines uh, what type of data it is and how long we're going to store it for, which is completely configurable to the customer. Okay. So that policy management uh, also figures out uh, where we're going to land the data, and we call those storage pools. Okay. And in this case, we're going to create a storage pool that has, it's tied to Amazon S3. And that setup is pretty easy for the customer. You can set it up with a, um, easy to use wizard that basically takes an Amazon credentials, uh, a bucket name if you have the bucket already. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the bucket, we can create that for you with a unique, unique ID. Okay, great. Um, and then once the pool's there, we'll go through deduplication process, a data reduction process. The first thing is to deduplicate data. We have a variable block deduplication that looks at the data, fingerprints it, and says, oh, I've already got this piece of data. It matches, right. so I'm not going to back it up. So I just increment in the index, right? And then yep, I won't store uh, that. How big are the kind of deduplication chunks? Yep, so those are variable in size. Um, on average, depending on what the data is, 50K to 300K, which leads to the interesting part here for Amazon S3. Well, I'm glad I could help you lead to that. <laughs> yeah, so um, after we've deduplicated it, we'll go through uh, compression, mm -hmm. and then we'll encrypt the data with AES-256, and then we'll land it into our storage pool. And we have a local cache there um, on disk where we'll take those small chunks of data mm -hmm. and then assemble them into uh, containers that are on average a gig of size. So optimized so for S3, right? Optimized for S3, right. So then once we have these uh, larger containers, um, we can move those out to S3, and we can do a multi-part upload with a part size. Um, we found 100 megabytes for our use is good, so gigabyte container, 100 megabyte parts. And when we're under load bringing in lots of data, um, we'll actually fill up lots of these containers in parallel mm -hmm. and do, be doing uploads to Amazon S3. Um, and you're gonna, you can max up my and pipe, can, right? Right, we'll max out the, the pipe here um, as quick as you can bring in the data. Okay, so that's super cool. And yeah. then what happens when we want to rehydrate? Yeah, so when, when a client wants to recall the data, um, basically we'll end up with the containers here and the chunks um, out there. And we can do range reads to these chunks and do those range reads in parallel. So we'll take the data and assemble that together in parallel and then return the object in the client's form after we've uh, decompressed it and rehydrated the whole data. So parallel, range parallel. reads, makes it super fast to right, bring Right, the back, parallel right? is the key there to do operations in parallel, um, really improves throughput. Awesome. Well, this is a really cool setup, and I, I bet your customers are super excited about it. And yep. uh, thanks for coming out today, and thanks for watching. Thanks this for is my architecture. Me.